there's an argument that goes something like this. There is no government without oppression. Government of any kind is oppressive. Without government, there would be no oppression. Government is all about crushing freedoms and trampling on human beings. Humans can only be truly free when we have no government at all. Freedom is the highest value, therefore, we should seek to abolish government. So what's wrong with this argument? Okay. Have governments been guilty of oppressing people throughout history? Of course. But is everything that governments and government agents do oppressive? Government policies have helped and do help people escape from poverty. There are welfare systems and policies in place which help folks, folks with young children, systems and policies which help the elderly, help disabled people. Governments and government agencies help to maintain and improve modern communication systems, modern transport systems, in terms of education and healthcare and in other areas. There are benefits to the individual, benefits to the family unit, benefits to the community where government exists. There are advantages which come from living in a tax-paying society. Yeah, laws and regulations can and do serve and protect people's best interests. Laws can liberate. Human beings can enjoy certain freedoms in a rule of law society that they would not be able to enjoy in a lawless one. How could I have peace of mind or how could I enjoy freedom of movement in a society where mob rule or gangland rule was in effect. No police, no law, no democratic representation. Violence and intimidation as a way of life. Where there's no rule of law, how can I feel safe in my own home? What if the mob, or a more powerful individual than myself, wanted my house in a society where no government, no law, no police existed? But without government, we can't have government limitations placed on free speech, right? But... If we do away with government and we do away with the rule of law and we do away with your rights as protected by the law, then what's to stop the guy with the gun or the guy with a private army from saying, no, fuck your so-called free speech. If I don't like what you say, you'll be sleeping with the fishes, mate. Individuals want and need protection. Can government offer protections, vital protections, to its citizens? Yes. Do governments sometimes abuse their power? Obviously, yes, is the answer. Do people need protection from the power of government? Again, the answer is yes. A constitution and system of law can give people the protection they need, placing restrictions on the powers of government. But 
if humanity were to do away with governments altogether by tomorrow or by next week, no more local, national or regional governments, what would happen? What would happen? Would violence cease to be? Would greed cease to be? Would freedom reign supreme? I don't think bullies or greedy buggers or fanatics would simply disappear with the abolition of the state. Possessiveness and jealousy would exist, would still exist. And in a world without government or law, there's no guarantee that you could go where you please or say what you want or acquire that which you needed in the material sense. No guarantee. There are problems in the world, obviously, and certain governments have got a lot to answer for, in my view. But abolishing government is not automatically going to make things better, in spite of what some people might think. Problems will still exist. Messy situations that require solutions will still exist. I'm with democracy. I'm with the people making the institution of government work for the people. Peace.